Okay, so it's Thursday morning in the Hutton household, and, and Mama and I are sitting down to watch Gunless, <laughs> a movie starring uh, Paul Gross. Looks like it should be pretty funny. Canadian uh, Western comedy. I think a comedy about an American cowboy who finds himself in a Canadian town, and the hilarity ensues. The boy is here, and he's jumping. <laughs> the boy is jumping around, going to provide some nice sound effects while we watch the movie. Man, he loves that jumping thing. Yeah, so we're going to watch the movie, and then I'm working later part of this day. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how the movie goes. Oh, yeah, for the barbecue weekend. You just woke up. <laughs> hey, Peanut. You just woke up from a nap. Yeah, you're smiley after the nap. We just got finished watching Gunless. What'd you think, Mama? Good. Yeah? Fun yeah. movie? Yeah. It I was like pretty it. fun. This guy napped through it, but now he's awake. Oh, <laughs> he loves the Mama. He loves the Mama. What was your favorite part of Gunless? Um... <laughs> I'm awful at this. <laughs> My favorite part of Gunless was the Gunless. I don't know. Go away. <laughs> the lack of baby orange juice. The absence of guns was the best part of Gunless. <laughs> I guess yes. The blacksmith was funny. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, it was a pretty fun movie. I Gunless. got the baby orange juice. <laughs> Yep, we'd highly recommend it. It's good. Very funny. Oh. It's always good humor. Canadians versus Americans. Americans looking at Canadians. That's always pretty funny. It's got a bit of that in it. I don't know what they're doing over there, so I'm going to cut there. <laughs> what are you building? Can you make a hole? Okay. But um, tell us what you're building first. A boat. A boat. And a boat. And you've painted it and designed it. And you've hammered in some decorative caps. And we actually accidentally hammered it into the table. Shh. <laughs> and what are you doing trying to grab the camera over here? Are you trying to grab the camera? Yeah, are you trying to, are you trying to grab the camera? Hey, Mama. What? <laughs> what, are you catching me in all my geekdom here? Thanks. <laughs> You're just checking Hotmail. There's nothing geeky about that. Okay. We just all haven't gotten very much vlog footage today. Adele so. and Courtney both prefer number one. That's breaking the tie. Everyone likes number one. So Mama's getting a new pair of glasses. She's looking at getting a new pair of glasses. She's actually put up the options on your blog or on Facebook? Both. Both. See, this is what people have voted for the most. These glasses. This is what people prefer. Oh, can you see that? Oh, and the boy is awake. Awesome. Of course. This is what I like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now she's left it to the internets to decide which people like these. She's but I think getting. they're too similar to what I have. But overwhelmingly now, it's like people are saying that one. Man, the boy. <laughs> he never settles quite right in the evening, does he? I don't know if you can hear him crying on the in the background here. It might be too quiet to hear him, but the boy sometimes needs a bit of work settling. What about you, people out there? Do you let the babies cry it out? <laughs> Somebody sent me an article recently that indicated that I wouldn't be emotionally available to my children and I'm setting lifelong patterns and influence their cognitive development by letting them cry it out. So much pressure. Someone, what? I got an article sent to me on oh, okay. email. Mm -hmm. Okay, it wasn't someone saying to you, directly no, no, no. to you, well, you're no. emotionally crippling your children. No, <laughs> basically that's what the article indicated if you let them cry it out. I don't buy that. Yeah. Gotta learn how to cry eventually. He has to learn to comfort himself. It's not like I'm closing the door and abandoning him to cry for two hours. I no, that's right. Do that. 
we go 10 minutes, right? Yeah, and I'm thinking of, yeah, letting that go a little bit longer. And there's probably even some people out there who would say, 10 minutes, that's too short. Yeah, because it, there are people out there, everything I've read actually indicates that that is sending mixed messages. It's too short a time. Mm, I seem to set them okay with 10 minute intervals. But that's because I'm awesome. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs>